So Mr. Godin calls you up, says, Doyle, we're going to put your name on a guitar. What's the first thing you say you want? Well, I, you know, he said, I said, well, if you want me to put a different spin on what you already have that's already so great, I would, do, I would go with L.R. Baggs because uh, that, he has a different feel. I've used his pickups for years. I mean, I played years ago in the store. When I drove up here, I thought, I've been here before. And it was years ago with another guitar company. But even then, I had a signature guitar. L.R. Baggs was in my guitar. And then I went with another company because uh, they asked me to help kind of resurrect this old guitar brand. And then they sold the brand, but I had a very successful signature guitar with them and uh, LR Bags. And so when I went with these guys, I said, well, that's, that's the key to my sound. Uh, but here's the thing. Uh, <laughs> I, I actually asked them not to put my name on it. I said, you don't have to put my name on this guitar. I mean, because basically, uh, Robert came up with this, this design of this particular guitar, and uh, it was already perfect. Now, they did a couple things, like they put the little white roses mm -hmm. on it and things like that. But I picked out the guitar. Now, they, they have a, an inch and three-quarter uh, neck uh, width on here, and then also the position markers, things like that. There was one other thing I did ask them to do for this guitar, and because you saw me right. bend the string, and that's to uh, do away with the slotted headstock and just put a solid headstock on there. And it works really, really great. And so, um, and, and, and I, I sat down, actually wrote down about 20 or 30 names. You could call it this, you could call it that. <laughs> I said, I don't want to sound crass, but uh, even my wife said, I thought you re retired from all that stuff on the guitar. But I said, well, I did too. But I said, these people have something different than anything I've ever done before. But uh, Robert and Simone and all, you know, Patrick and all the guys over there, uh, they said, no, it has to have your name on it. It has to be a Doyle Dykes model. And so, I mean, that, that was a great compliment, you know. But, you know, from my standpoint, I mean, Robert Godin and also the LR Bags, it's like heaven and earth kiss and this, this little guitar got caught right in the middle of the smack. And so it's, it's all so much their genius, but I guess it wouldn't have existed if it had not been for me, I guess. <laughs> so what can I say? So as you look back on, on being the guy who can have a guitar named after him, you look at all the stuff you've come through to get to this point, what can you say you've really learned out of all this? Oh, I've learned a lot about tone. I've learned a lot about tone woods. I've learned a lot about uh, electronics and things like that. But I've also learned what people like, and, you know, especially the guys that play my style of music and kind of what works and what doesn't. And you know, a lot of it is, is uh, your right hand. You've seen that mm -hmm. with me. Yeah. And uh, if you have a guitar that's too big, too boomy, now I have, some, I have a lot of old guitars. <laughs> I mean, I, I, have a, I have a song called Guitar Poor. I'll do it tonight, but it, uh, it's some of it says, I got flat top, star top, steel string, gut string, solid body, hot body, six string, 12 string, acoustic, electric, and resonators, and more. Cutaways, non cutaways, double cutaways, pointing tops, gold tops, jumbos, dread knives, double offs, triple offs. Man, I'm guitar poor. <laughs> and uh, so I love guitars, and I have a lot of guitars, but what works for me, it won't be my old J200 Gibson from 1958. I wouldn't attempt to play How Great Thou Art on the, on the stage with that, right. or do half what I do on this guitar. But uh, because it's thin, uh, and that's a gorgeous guitar, but because this one is, is thin, it, it, on the right hand, it's very responsive. It's so quick, it doesn't feed back. Uh, it has a full tone, I mean, from uh, in, throughout the entire spectrum. It'll fill up a room. I, here's the thing. I've learned how to put a guitar together where I can walk up and not have to think about anything but just play. All that other stuff has been done. And when you can do that, then that's the guitar you ought to be playing. So I've, I've found out that, uh, that that's kind of what I've gone after all these years. That's awesome. Just one more thing. You know, somebody's going to be watching this video and they're going to see, you know, how dexterous you are on the guitar. And they're going to be thinking, you know, I'm just starting out. What do I need to be thinking about? And this could be a 40 year old. It could be a 10 year old. Well, I think the most important thing, uh, people say, what's your practicing regiment? And I said, well, there, I never had one. I've never had that type of a practice uh, schedule where I would go in and be some type of regimented type thing scheduled for me to 
play this or got to play that or got to run through these scales, run through that. I don't even know what scales are pretty much. I know there's a scale for every chord and I've learned through playing so many years that sort of thing. But uh, to me, it's always playing, playing yeah. the guitar and emphasis on that, you know. And I mean, Merle Travis was always that way. When you hear Merle. I mean, you can't play that without smiling. That's right. You know? That's the joy. And the other thing, too, people ask me all the time how to get to the next level. And I'll, it's real easy. Get out and play for other people. That's right. Don't just keep it up in your and in, in hoard it up in your own room, your bedroom or house, but get out there and play for somebody else. Well, Doyle, thanks so much for coming to Evansville, Indiana, and to more music. <laughs> thanks. What a, it's, it's an incredible thing for me to be able to come back to Evansville, and this is a great store. What a bright spot in Evansville, Indiana. It's it truly a great is. Place. And folks need to get in here and check out the Doyle Dykes guitar. Play us out, man. Okay. How about that? <laughs> <laughs>